Uh, sorry guys, well, we have to start again. First time that we have a technical problem like this. My name is Sensei Carl. We're going to do home basics tonight, basics that you can do at home. It's a follow up on what I did last Monday, where we do basics uh, at a different level, like we did face and Maya Geris uh, last, um, last, um, book, last Monday. And for the ideas that we will do with techniques and blocks, even from the most junior people that they will understand that uh, reference that they can go back and practice on their own while we're in lockdown and that they can go like a manual, a little manual that they can go practice. For the more advanced students, you can use this as a guideline, you can do your own combinations from that. We'll continue tonight, add a few more techniques and uh, like I said, for the juniors, you can do it individually, seniors, you can go crazy, do all your different combinations and you can have a working manual that you can do uh, for all the hours that you now have to stay at home. We adhere to the rules, part of the, the, uh, our Dojo Kun is that we have discipline and we have respect for the laws in the country, so we will stay at home, we busy, we will stay healthy by practicing and, and referring back to all the videos that we've been making now for three weeks, this is the fourth week. Okay, we'll do a quick uh, warm up. Um, starting again, like I said, we have to do that. I also asked in the little bit that we recorded before we will now throw it off. I said, try to warm up, come and start earlier. We start at six every night from Monday to uh, Thursday. Do a little bit of warm up because we really don't have time to do a long uh, warm up. Um, do your own warm up before the time. So this is just a little bit of a routine that we can go through and then we can uh, uh, start with a more technical side much quicker. Okay, so um, let's just start. We did a little bit of warm up, so let's continue with a little stretch here to the side. We're going to do my washigiri tonight, so we need to get our legs working and to the inside. Stretching there, okay, 10 counts to the other side. Each knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitchi, hatch. Go to inside each knee, sun, she, go, rock, sit, she, hatch. Go to, let's go, she could have chip her knees out. Each knee, sun, she, go, rock, sit, she, hatch. Go to ankles, each knee, sun, she, go, rock, sit, she, hatch. Go to the other side, turn, look over your shoulder, make sure you twist your back. Shni San Shi Rok Sichi Hach and change to the other side Shni San Go Rok Sichi Hach Go Ju let's do that again Go Rok Sichi Hach Ju change Shni San Shi Go Rok Sichi Hach Down to the side push out your knee Nichni San Shi Go Rok Sichi Hach to change okay, support your knee push out your knee Chni San Go Rok Sichi Hach Go to change the pull at the toes get that hammy and glute stretching Chni San Go Rok Sichi Hach to change Chni San me go rock sit hatch go to push up right just stretch okay chi chi go rock sit hatch go to okay me kicks each me sun chi go rock sit hatch go to around each me sun chi go rock sit Hatch, go, two, going side, as each knee, sun, chi, go, brick, sitch, hatch, go, two, now around each knee, sun, chi, go, brick, sitch, hatch, go, two, Right, a bit of a change to the stretch. Let's put him back, looking over your shoulder. Change. 
Change. Change. To the side. Okay. And to the side. Change. Change. A little bit of a variation from our normal stretch. Stretching up, going down. Support your hands, support the back, and look behind you as far as you can. Then up, down, behind, breathe out. Reach. Down, behind you, up, behind, one more time, make sure your back muscles are not stretched out, going down, back, okay, sit the hands, this fingers, Backwards. Okay, on the other side. Now down. Keep your knees slightly bent. Feet pointing straight forward. Okay, the right person is always ready to move. So you don't stand even with warm up. You don't stand with your knees lock. You can't move with your knee lock, knees locked. Okay. Always Zanjan, always ready, Zanjan, awareness. Doesn't matter where you are, it's part of your training. Okay. Okay, chains. Okay, shoot loose. Okay, it's from side to side, look over your shoulder, pull the opposite shoulder back. Okay, make sure your neck muscles are stretched. To the other side. I'm sure now that we are all locked in, okay, okay, I'm still working from home, so I'm have too many meetings, sitting in the, in the chair and doing the meetings over on my laptop, not an opportunity to walk to meetings, even if it's in the same building, and uh, the rest of you guys that's not working, I'm sure you're sitting totally too much, so we need some movement, so get up. Walk around the house, play with the dog, play with the children, play with your brothers and sisters. Just do something physically. Okay, now we have been to where I stay. Never seen so many people walking in the street, ever. Because now people do get out, try to get out of the house. Alright, just a bit of stretch more, just using the hand to assist. Ah, okay, that should do, that should do the trick. Okay, your Okay, quick refer, recap what we did last Monday. We did our okay, okay, rising block, right. We did sideways, sideways, okay. We did punching from standing still, move to the side, move with punching. And I explained you can step forward, punching different stances. You can do gaikazuki, a lot of, lot of ways that you can step punching. And, and, and block it. So now just a recap, what you can now do is for example, stepping, Kaito Zuki Punchy, or stepping, stepping, two punchy. Okay, so now you can combine those techniques with you've done. And like I said, even for the most junior person, person started karate this year, you can take those techniques now and practicing, and we have a nice workout. Go back to the video, Combine those techniques now. Okay, that was face. Then we did Maya Geris by standing here, stepping forward from the side again. Okay, different lengths of techniques. Spinning away, kicking. Standing, kicking with the front leg. Kicking with the back leg. Spinning, like I said, now you can do the same thing. Get on and run. Spinning away. Blocking with the inside four. 
Now you can combine it with a technique, for example, now you can kick with the front leg. Now I can kick with the front leg low and kick with the back leg higher. So now you can do various combinations of that. So take, take those techniques, go back to the video that you was that, uh, recorded. It's also on YouTube now. And take those techniques, you have the time now. Go and work those combinations out for yourself. Doesn't matter what level, level grade you are. Okay, and, and develop your own karate. You have the time now. Okay, good. So tonight, we will start off, that was just a recap. We will go to chest blocks now. Okay, let the, let's do the basic chest blocks. To go to the, the blocks. I could actually start. Okay, underneath the arm and out. Fetch and bring it in. Fetch and bring it in. Okay. Let's start. Itch. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Ruk. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Okay. 10, 20, 30 as much as you want to do. You have the time. Like I said, I keep on saying you have the time because you have the time. Alright. So now sliding sideways. Itch. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Ruk. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Okay. Alright. Sliding sideways. Alright. And standing still. High to the Okay. Now we can also do it to the side. Okay. Step into the side. Block and chew down. Okay. Other way. Block chew down. Knee. Chew down. Side. Chi. This is your line of attack. I've started with the blocks now. We'll go back to the different punches now. And then we'll combine that into a combination. Okay, she block. Go back to your center line. Like I said, get a line for you. Draw it with a piece of chalk on your, not on your mother's mat. Okay, you'll get it proper. Okay. Put the belt. Put your belt there. Okay. She go. Sitch, hatch, cool, ju. Now again, that's long start. You can make a half a long start. You can make short start. Sanch. So she. Okay? Like kick is that itch, for example. Okay? Okay, got that short start, okay? She go. Sitch. Hatch, cool, ju. Okay, your arm, your fist tight. You can't block. If your hands is not properly closed, your, your muscle is not tight. You make contact with the arm, strong punch, you, you're not going to be effective. So your hand is tight. It's like a fist. Your hand is tight. Okay. That's your normal chudan okay. From underneath the armpit, blocking, fetching. Fetching. Fetching the technique block. So if you make a mistake, you're off the line. If you make a mistake, you at least can get away from the technique. But the idea is still to fetch, fetch and pull in. Fetch and pull in. Fetching and controlling, uh, room for error. If, if there's always room for error if something goes wrong. Then the second arm, two lines of defense. The second arm, inside four arm block. Right, it's there. Two arms, two arms, two arms. The same principle we discussed when we did the rising block. The arge, okay. okay. Two arms of block, blocking. Two arms blocking. Two arms blocking. Two arms blocking. Two arms blocking. First one there, second one there. First arm, there's a block, there's a block. There's a block, there's a block. There's a block, two blocks. Always two blocks. Always two blocks. Always two blocks. Always two blocks. Okay. Can, when you have a problem, you can train against each other again and you have time or you have your partners. Always think when you do against each other, I have two arms. I have two lines of defense. Okay, so I always work the two arms. Two arms against each other. Right. Chu down okay. Now we go to hiki -uke. Okay, the open hand blocks obviously indicating that you, you're gonna grab and pull. The same principle. Two arms. Two arms. Let's just stand and hike it at you. Okay, same principle. Got arm covering half the body and then in there. Okay, itch. Sun. 
Chi. Go. You keep your fingers closed. You keep on hooking on to my key. Okay, keep the fingers close. Okay? Keep your fingers close together. It's not like a loose things hanging there. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Brink. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Chu. Same principle as the close fist, but now it's open, of course you're going to pull. Now you can do the same, go into the side. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. I'm not going to repeat the stances, because it's the same block, everything applies with the stances. I'm really pushing for more techniques tonight. All right, so we've covered the detail last Monday about the different stances. The stances are the stances, doesn't matter what your blocks are. So I'm not going to go into the amount of detail I went in on, on Monday. So those are the stances. The stances are applicable to the techniques or the hands also. Okay, it's okay. And the 45 degrees remains the same. Okay. And when we do, we're also going to do spinning away and we're going to go again going for the open hand block, okay? So when you spin away from a tick, if this is my line of attack and I want to spin away, well, also, like I said last Monday, it's more senior, we don't normally teach this to the junior students, because your hand eye coordination must be good for this, okay? So spinning away with open hand blocking, spinning away, from the technique, okay, being the two hands is blocking, other hand is back up there, you can block with the back of the hand, for example, okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, it's for the more seniors, they want to understand how they know what this is about, two, spinning away from the technique, spin away, spin away, okay, so, so these are the, oh, the two down the chest box. Now, the chest punch. I repeat the stances we've done in, in detail. You can have a short stance for this, okay? Or the or reverse punch, kaikazuki, oizuki. Half a long stance, for kekesarich. Or zenkutsudach, chest punch. Or reverse punch. <laughs> now you can, you can vary this. You can go always half a long stance, long stance, three punches. Nice combination. So as you can practice. Then you can go short stance, reverse punch, half a long stance, long stance. Okay? Then you can vary it short stance, reverse, half a long stance, always long stance, reverse punch. And you build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. You can, for hours, with these basic techniques, you can keep yourself busy for hours and hours and hours. Write it down, make yourself a list, and write it down. You will see the seniors, doesn't matter how senior we are. We go to a Gashiku with senior instructors, and we make notes. I have books and books, of notes I've made over these years because I we always learn. We always learn. And you can always revert back to your notes. Now we've been more modern and we've got video clips and that can that you can excuse me, you can revert and refer to along the way. So now let's let's work on a combination of what we've done now with the chest now. So go to the side, hiki okay. Long stance, it's supposed to be in a long stance. Now step forward in a short stance and chest punch. Okay. Now go to the other side, Hiki Yuka short stance. Now step through, reverse punch, chest punch. You see what I'm, what I'm doing with, the, with the, the techniques? It's all chest for now. Remember, we've done face, we've done my hands in the, in the last, last, last two sessions. So now, Combinations. Let's 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 play around with what we've done now. So let's do a short stance. Go back to Monday. My again. Okay. Go back to Monday. Face punch. Reverse punch. Face punch. 
Now we combine the three sessions we've done today. And continue. You can have lots and lots of combinations by going back to the basics. Like Sensei Bakis always says, basics, basics, basics. The stuff that will save you in the self-defense situations is basics, not fancy stuff. Basics. Yeah. That is what we do, that is what we play with. Good. Let's go to another technique. Roundhouse kick. Mawashigiri. It's the same technique as a Meyer, as a Meyer theory. All the principles apply. It's snap back and it's just coming around. That's the only difference. So it's the same thing we did with the Mayagiri. It can be short from a short stance, it can be from a, a medium stance, it can be from a long stance, okay? Or we can do it from the front foot. Remember what I said last Monday? It's closer, it's faster. Or it can be power, it can come from the back. Where you can put your weight. Mm, yeah. Uh, I weighed myself this morning, so I also have some extra weight to put behind my leg now from coming this lockdown, lockdown situation. I think we're all going to have the same problem. More weight to put behind the kick. Let's just take that as a joke, okay? Okay, so same thing with uh, the Mawashigiri. Okay, you can also spin away from the, with the Mawashigiri. Now I can use my front kick, front leg, and maybe do a low to the knee or to, or to the calf or to the thigh. Nice low. Or I can go straight to the groin here yeah? or to the stomach here yeah? or the bladder. Very, very painful. Okay, there are children here. I can't say what I normally say in the senior class. What happens if you kick somebody in the bladder and they have to go to the toilet? For the next week or so, they kind of remember you. All right, so, or now I can come after I spin away from my, and remember this is the line of attack, I can go on the inside. Nice low kick on the inside of the leg. Take the leg out, drop the, drop the attack. Okay, or we can from here slide to the side and kick. Slide, kick, slide, kick, slide, kick. Okay, or just haikudachi, mawashigiri, 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 mawashigiri. 10 reps, 20 reps, 30 reps. Okay, work it into your routine. So let, let's just repeat. From haikudachi, mawashigiri, play around with it. Low, low kicks, medium kicks, high kicks. Okay, I'm not going to try to kick high now. Alright, okay, different high kicks. Yeah, if you have a punch back at home, or you make a dummy like Sensei Stefan has showed for the WKF guys, okay, you can kick different heights. All right, those will be my, my, my ideas. Okay, that's the two, two kicks that we've done now. Okay, then we can, you can do the sliding, or the Maya or the Mawashi or you can do the spinning away like we said now. Right? Then how do you block a Mawashi Remember, it's a, it's a strong kick and you have to get off the line of, of attack. So let's just do uh, probably the most effective, most effective block in Sama Washigiri, uh, Wase Uke, okay? double arm block. So just, just, let's just stay and hike to that chi. Okay? So make sure the kick is coming around, because the kick is coming around. So make sure you turn your body into the kick. Doesn't help you stand here. That kick is going to come around. It's going to get you on the spine. It's going to get you on the kidneys. On the ribs here, it's going to be damaged. So turn into the technique. So let's go to your right side. Itch. Okay. Block the arms there. Knee. Okay. Sun. It's like an inside forearm and a get on a, get on a right. Just block the arms together there. Okay, side, chi, go, rink, chi, ha, ku, ju. Okay, I'm not on it. 
We're only doing 10. You need to do more, especially the juniors. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to go off the line. Oh, let's just slide away first. Okay. Do not slide into the technique. Around this technique, you go, oh, go with the flow. You don't go into a leg, strong leg. What did I say on Monday? Maya Getty, arms. Okay, the leg will win. Again, the arm. Same principle here. Okay, so you slide away. Here comes the Mawashi Giri. So you slide away. All right, and back. Knee, slide away. Sun, and go. Chi, go. Make sure you get the technique away from your body. You don't want the foot to come around. If you see Sensei Sam's feet, they like this long. All right, that foot will come around. You must block the leg there. Otherwise, that toes are going to catch. She, go. Back to your line. Rip. Back to your line. Six. Back to your line. Hatch. Back to your line. Cool. Back to your line. Two. All right, now we're going to step 45 degrees. Again, line of attack is here. The kick is coming this way. Right? It's a common error, and we see that, especially with the more juniors, that they read the kick incorrectly. Then they walk right into the kick. Right, that's where they, um, that's an error at grading, it's quite a common error. Okay, so now try to study this, make sure that you read the kick. Okay, the kick is coming this way. Okay, so you step to the side, itch, and stop it there. Now the kick is coming that way. Nick, stop it there. Sun, she, go, rip, sitch, hatch, cool, jump. Right? Make sure you block it. Okay? Round technique. So, combination. Combination of this. Okay, now. Now, remember any of the other techniques that we've done. You can answer Mawashigiri technique with a Mawashigiri if you want to. No problem. Each. There goes the Mawashigiri. Guys, put his leg down now. Okay? So now you can take that leg out. Okay? Right? Or from here, punch to the face because he's now close again. Just put his leg down. Oh, my Giri. To his groin, it's here now. Understand? Depends. You work it out. You currently don't have a training partner because you're locked in. If you're in a karate family, you're lucky you can train together. Otherwise, work it out. Imaginary, a lot of people have imaginary friends. So you can have an imaginary karate friend. Then you practice against that friend. Okay? So, that is Mawashigiri. Now, Ijiate, elbow strikes. This is very powerful, and it's not a coincidence that in our first kata, get is an itch, there's an elbow strike. Eh? Because it's a wonderful, strong technique. When I do self-defense awarenesses, this is what I do teach as one of the first techniques, especially for females. Right. Okay, open end techniques for females, elbow strikes, knees. That is very important because it's a, it's powerful and it's 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 easy to use. Oh, it's easy for them to use. Okay, so good. So let's do the, the elbow strike as as from Kekistar it's a straightforward one. I want you to use your hand as a target. Okay. So from here, just strike in here. I could achieve each knee, sun, she, go. And now the other hand. Make hold the target out, then slap it off. No, you're not gonna take the guy's head and slap it against you. You're gonna strike, strike there. Strike there. Use your legs. Use your legs. The power comes from the floor. It's not only upper 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 body power, it's here. From the floor. From the floor. That's where you strike. Right. Each, me, sun, she, 
Oh. Right, now I'm gonna change. You are clever, you have, you have lots of time to try this if you if, if you have a proper coordination. Each knee, sun, she, go, ru, si, heart, ku, chu. Okay? Now across. Okay, this like chu down here on the ganga, like in Kekisa Range Kata. But who says Kekisa can't be here? For example, in Kekisa we do each me. Who says Kiki Sai can't be this and this? Alright, in a self-defense situation. So now we do a cross, Jordan, each, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ru, Siege, Hat, Ku, Chu. Understand? Alright? Now, elbow to the side. Now you're hitting with this bone here. Okay, that's, that's, that's damage, that's serious damage, here, the bone gets into here, here, forearm, bone in here, there pops a jaw, so I must not say this thing in front of the jaw. Okay, so each knee, sun, tight fist, tight fist, like I said earlier tonight, you need this muscle, this muscle here, to tight, therefore, you have to tight your fists with this muscle, but now the bone focuses on the bone here. Okay, she, go, ruk, sit, hatch, ku, ju. Now we're gonna go back. Remember the Sunchin class I did earlier? Earlier, I'm um, in the first two weeks. Okay, each, ni, san, she, go, ruk, sit, hatch, ku, ju. Somebody from behind. Hey, anywhere here, oh, it, it hurts. Now another one, another one, another one. Striking down, okay, striking down. Here for here, person is bent over, striking down. Each, knee, sun, chi, go, ruk, sich, hatch, ku, ju. Hey, okay. So now you can go and work out combinations of elbow strikes. Eight, forward, across, to the side, back and down. Right. Various combinations. To the side, back, down. Go and, go and experiment with, with different combinations. Right. Ah, and then you can do spin, strike, and up. That was no combination with one arm. You can do up, down, cross. Okay, one again, as much as you want to. Okay, it doesn't have to be one arm only. It was just just for illustrative purposes. So that is elbow strikes. The other one I want to get to is Lisa Gary's. It's power. It's power techniques. Elbow and knee. The only thing is that you must understand that as you to use your elbow and your knee, you have to get into the dead zone, into the striking zone of the other person. Right? It's easy standing here and the person is there and he can't reach you. That's 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 the easy part. To get into your in the, your striking zone, you're also in that person's striking zone. Understand that? Alright, so, these are giddies. it's straight, like you do the warm-ups, okay, nice and strong, so, again, just like we did the warm-up, just use, I want you to use your hands to get you the effect here, so each, ni, san, chi, go, ruk, sich, hatch, ku, ju, and also don't, I think it's only straightforward, it can also be a out. Can be out. D. Sun. Shi. Go. Ruk. Sich. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Hit from the side to the, to the to the legs to the body to the side of the head. Side of the head. Understand? Depends on where you depends on where your target is. Okay. And person here. Uh, there are children watching, so I will not go into too much detail about this. 
So, okay, I'm going to show one or two combos of this, but I'm a bit reluctant because this is open and there are children watching. But uh, you can, the more senior people can go and use your mind what you can do with this. Just if you know how to punch back or something that, uh, that you can practice this. You can, for example, do a combination where you use your hands, for example. He's a daddy. Elbow. Right. We'll start with the elbow, go with the knee, and strike with the elbow again. You can work out different combinations by the knee, by the elbow. Then you can go back to what we've been doing. You can enter with the Maya Giri getting close. Okay, maybe do a punch. Get an elbow in there, get a hitsageri in there. Okay, with one combination I didn't get to tonight, but we're out of time. Um, let's see. Hopefully the lockdown in Namibia will stop. But the rest we will do in the classes. Okay, and half an hour is gone now. I think that is enough for now. Okay, I had another combination that I wanted to do, but let's just cut it quick said that we don't want to make, let me explain this, there are classes being given of hour and longer on, 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 on different forums. Our approach on this was, we don't want the guys to pin the people an hour in front of the, on, on the, the TV or on Facebook and whatever forums. We want to give you our 30 minutes to 40 minutes, but with the idea is that you can go and expand. Okay, go and use this and go and actually think about it. If you just come to a normal class, you, you just get everything spoon fed to you. But we actually want you, because you have so much time, to actually go and use your own imagination. Get some information and go develop it. To go develop it a bit, I don't care what grade you are. Uh, even if you just started karate this year, brilliant. <laughs> You've got three weeks in Namibia now to develop. South Africa has got five weeks of lock, uh, lockdown in the, in the world, everywhere, everywhere. There's a lot of a longer time. Go and develop your own karate. That is what we are trying to achieve. And if you want, there, there, there are brilliant stuff on the internet now. You can now suddenly train with very senior people by doing full classes. Uh, and, 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 and from very, very senior people grab all these opportunities. We have a certain purpose of what we are doing. You can go and do full classes with very, very senior people. Grab the opportunity now, now that you have the time. When life goes back to normal, you will not, will not have an hour session with the senior people because you just won't have time anymore. Okay? So go and use the opportunities. Like us, like us, um, follow us, share with us wherever you go. Please, people in Namibia, um, uh, hopefully this is over very soon now, but respect our laws. If they lock us up for another, uh, I don't want to think about it, if they lock us up for another uh, week or two, respect that too. Use your cordial discipline, okay? Stay healthy, okay? Keep your hands clean. If you have to go out, uh, keep your social distancing and um, look after yourself. Your gojo, keep well. Arigatou gozaimasu.